Louisiana humidity has gone straight to you. Oh. Well, that's probably not going to make. That's probably not going to make it. That tire is done. Yeah. Okay. Let's grab a different bike. Alright, redemption it is.
the bike in the ditch and I bought the motor off Amazon. And uh, you know I don't it. she's been surprisingly reliable. Cheap on gas too, right? Yeah. And Where is the gas tank? Oh, right there. That's okay. Yeah. Well you got it rigged up, man. Yeah. It's about as it's a good mix between jerry rigged and simple. How fast would it run? I think it's about 30 miles now. It's oh, it's plenty fast. Enough. You want to shoot on the 50? Or? Yeah, I'm going to shoot right here on the 50. You need some targets? Or? I got some targets. Okay, let me sign in yep. if you don't mind. No problem. Got here just in time. The rain is just starting. All right, target to 50 yard. That's just regular sheets of printer paper with a two by three inch pink center. I'm just using iron sights. Well, they're polymer and iron on the cell, uh, sub 2000, but yeah. This is the kel sub 2000. It's their second generation. It's a compact folding rifle. It's still classified as a rifle, 16 inch barrel, and when it's folded, it's inoperable. She's a 9mm. And quite literally, a nice backpack gun. So it complements traveling on the bikes quite well. It's a blowback design. This means that it has a bit more weight than you would expect it to, and you feel a bit more recoil than you would expect from a 9mm. When you're shooting this, it, it, I mean, it's not hard recoil or anything like that, it's just you don't expect it to have as much kick, and that's just because it's got this big heavy bolt going back and forth. Anyways, out of it, I'm going to be shooting all reloads. Uh, some of them should be pretty good, some of them. I can't remember because a lot of these I loaded years ago. We got powder coated round nose. We've got Lee Liquid A locks, flat, flat nose. Uh, and then these ones are round nose with paraffin wax. I can't remember the composition, but a homemade lubricant. These are 15 round magazines. And it uses standard Glock magazines. I believe this one came with a Glock 19 magazine. I think that's the 15 round. I could be wrong about that, but uh, it will also accept the Glock 17's larger magazine. And basically, heck, up to, I think, 27 rounds is the largest I've seen them make outside of like a rotary drum magazine. So if it fits into a Glock 19, it, it'll fit into this. I'll try and put each magazine on a different piece of paper and just see how well she does. The rain's coming and going. 
The one extra thing I would like to point out about today's range trip, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing it, I just got a new pair of glasses for the first time in seven years, and I can see things better. So I'm curious if that's going to help me out here. doesn't have a last round hold open. I think that's a characteristic of most blowback guns. I don't know. first rounds I shot were my powder coated round nose. They seem to like those. Um, that's that's pretty good for 50 yards, a little low to the left. I'm alright with that. Good. Our second magazine was the uh, 124 grain cast lead round nose. It really liked those. The flat nose uh, liquid A-locks. It did not like those at all now it doesn't mean that the bullet is bad for the rifle or the the lubrication it could just be the powder i'm using with those so i loaded them a long time ago don't remember what they are this one i believe is tight group round nose and it really liked those so i'm definitely gonna have to mix up some more of those that is good all right we'll take her home clean her up Blowback pistols and rifles tend to get a lot dirtier than um, recoil, whatever you call it. They just, a lot more of the gas gets into the work. Clean up our shells here, get these reloaded, and they will fire again another day. Not only was I lucky enough to find all 45 of my shells, I got a handful more we'll add to the arsenal.